hello welcome to the new video from City Inc Express today I'm going to show you how to install your ICC profile on a Windows PC and the recommended printer driver settings for sublimation printing so I have my ICC profile here on the desktop now you may have have yours in a download on a USB on a disk anywhere in an email so get it to your desktop and then you can right mouse on it and choose install profile so sometimes we have heard from some customers that this option here install profile doesn't always show for whatever reason so I'm going to do it now but I will show you the in the other alternative so install profile so if you don't have that option we recommend that you go to go onto your computer go into C Drive Windows scroll down to system 32 and then scroll down to spool so once into spool into drivers into color and here are all the ICC profiles that are installed on your computer. So you can just copy and paste, drag and drop into there. Now I know I've already got this one in there from a previous take of the video. So it's going to tell me to just replace the file in the destination, which I'm going to do. So when you've done that, if your photo software is open when you install the ICC profile, it's very likely it will not appear in the drop down list. So you can you can should quit your software and reopen it and it will appear or don't have your software open when you install the ICC profile. So that's the first part. There are two parts to the ICC profile. The second part is you need to configure your printer driver settings. So I'm going to go into devices and printers. This is the printer that I want to use for sublimation. So I'm going to go into the printing preferences. So for the settings on this page here, there are a few that can vary between manufacturers and they tend to be the paper type and the paper quality. So for our own papers and inks, we recommend it's plain paper and high quality. For some papers out there on the market or even some customers I've seen using uh, matte paper standard, matte paper high and various other settings. Now, the ICC profile would have been made or built around these two settings here. So when they're made, some charts are printed, printed off with colored charts on as typical. These are scanned and then the ICC profile is created. Now, if if they when they made, were made, if they were made with plain paper high quality and then you go and print matte paper high or matte paper standard, the ICC profile will no longer be 100% accurate. So it's quite important that these two settings here match the way the ICC profile has been made. Now, if it's our inks and papers, you would have been told. If you're watching this video and you're using someone else's inks and papers, you need to be asking them what are the paper type and quality settings for the ICC profile because it does matter. So for me, I've changed them to plain paper and high. Now I'm going to go on to more options and what we need to do is we need to tell the printer not to use its own standard printer driver. So you can do that by clicking on custom, advanced and select no color management. So that's that section done. Other things that can impact or other things you may need to change is there are high speed printing here. So for the high speed printing what you need to do is you need to slow it down so when the printer is printing the ink is dry when it hits the feed rollers as it starts to pull the paper through. If your ink is not dry when it hits these rollers it can leave track marks or wheel marks or what we call in the industry as pizza wheel lines on the paper. Now this is especially important if you're not using plain paper high quality because if you're using something else that's laying down more ink, more image density, the chances of it being dry when it hits the feed rollers are yeah, very small. So on tick high speed so it slows it down. The last remaining setting you've got here is the mirror image. So depending on whether your image is flipped in your software or it's already in reverse, you may need to 
flip this back round and get it the right way. Now, obviously, we've we've made a few setting changes here. Now, you don't want to have to come in every single time and make those setting changes again over and over again. So you can do something called a, a preset. So over here on the left hand side are all the presets with standard settings in. So I'm going to save these settings as a preset. Now this is A4 paper so I'm going to save this as A4. So I'm going to click add and then I'm going to call it A4 sublimation. And then I'm going to click save. Now if you scroll down here look you can see all the settings that are going to be saved into this and I'm going to click save and close. Now when I come out of this if I was to go back into the printer settings so say I was going to print printer preferences and you can see that in there so rather than change all of those settings again I'd, all I need to do is just select this one for A4 sublimation and it's automatically loaded all the changes I've already made. And that's it. These are the common settings for setting your ICC profile and printer driver settings for sublimation. Thank you.